everyone. Welcome to Tomney Rankin, Neolithic Court Tomb in the Sparrow Mountains. Just got my MF meter with me as I'm walking around. Uh, I've got it set for a beep alarm so I don't expect to get any readings. There shouldn't really be any electrical or electromagnetic energy here. Um, but it'll beep if I should pick something up. So, uh, this is a new one on me, guys. It's a pretty massive court team. It's roughly 25 metres long that way, 10 metres across. Uh, it's one of the largest in Ireland, known locally as the Giant's Grave uh, for obvious reasons. I imagine it was all built up with uh, cairn material there. Could have been, you know, must be four, five, six feet taller in the middle. Pretty well preserved. Five thousand years it's been here. Especially the court. Two chambers in this one. This would have been covered over with a corbelled ceiling, um, so it would have been all sealed at the top. So you'd have had to duck down, come through the portal stones into this small antechamber. This is the first main chamber here, it's quite large. Unfortunately, you can see all the side rocks are starting to push in because the ceiling's been taken off. There's another big chamber behind this one. I'll go up top and let you see it. But uh, it has a dividing wall here, so I'm not sure how access was gained into that. Possibly there's a gap between this stone and the ceiling and you had to go over that way. Let's go up top and have a look. It's maybe part of the capstone. That's the second chamber at the back. Unfortunately it's full of gorse bushes. Brambles, so I'll not be able to get in there. Should get a wee bit closer. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good two meters along the floor. And Meter and a half at least wide. See how far it goes on down the back. There's another uh, two chambers with a small passage at the back there. Go down and have a look at that. This is the back end, so it's quite. 
quite unusual, it goes right across the back of the cairn, that's the very end. I think there's two distinct chambers, one at each end, possibly just entered via Imagine this covered over again, so it would have been a matter of ducking, crawling in. There's possibly been some sort of divider here as well between the two. That definitely looks like a, an entrance way there. Maybe there was just one entrance at this end. And it's hard to know. Quite unusual. Who's there? Look. Look, man made those grooves cut into that there. looks man-made as well there. Similar thing there too. Check out the view. Lovely and quiet, I'm not really near anybody here. There's a wee farm building over there, I think it's just a barn. As you've seen from the wee laying up, it's, it's tucked away. Still no EMF, so that's a good guideline because I'm going to set up my little paranormal experiment. Check if any of the spirits of this place still remain here. Got a couple of trigger objects. If you've seen the other videos, you'll kind of know my system. Um, I came across this place totally by chance. I was just uh, looking for an opportunity to get out for a day for uh, Ostara, celebrate Ostara, which is actually tomorrow. But you'll be seeing this today, which is Ostara. I've had to film it a day earlier it's just to get it edited and uploaded. Um, yeah, but I came across it in chance, I was just wishing about on Google Earth. We have a 10 mile travel radius at the minute, we're only allowed to travel within 10 miles from home, so luckily this falls in just inside the 10 miles. And I came across it because I first spotted a circular anom anomaly in the earth up there, uh, just up there, a couple of hundred yards. Um, checked it on the ordnance survey map but it, it wasn't marked as a wrath or anything so it wasn't marked as anything but there's definitely something there so I'm quite curious about that um, but I've seen it first and then the eye just jumped down to here <laughs> couldn't miss it even from Google Earth it looks massive you know uh, it's actually a, a state run monument so they've cut the gorse mostly off it it was completely buried one of the photos I've seen you couldn't see it for gorse Thankfully, I've turned it back enough that we can appreciate it now. And, uh, we're going to get some peace here, I think. Can't see anyone else being up here today. And, uh, as far as the circular anomaly goes, I'll probably fly up there. I've got my drone with me today. Um, I'll fly up there and we'll check it out if we get a closer look at it. Just have to be careful. These turbines weren't here. Google Earth picture must have been taken a few years ago. So. But uh, they're all over in that direction. I'm going to be flying up this way. But you can join me for that and we'll see what we see up there.
Well that was good fun eh? Hope you enjoyed that. The drones are really handy too, it saves you saves your legs. <laughs> uh, while you've been away I've set up my wee uh, paranormal experiments. I'll let you see what I have. I've one in the first chamber here. Trigger object. I brought two decorated eggs to represent fertility. Ostara is a fertility festival. And beside that is my REM pod. Detect any electromagnetic energy as well as my EMF meter. And that's just a little camera keeping an eye on the things as they go along. I have another experiment down in the back chamber, so I'll take you down there. Set it up against that stone that has the grooves in it there. That's my large piece of quartz which came in handy. That Dewey's court term. Got some good EMF readings. Just leaning on that, I've got a little voice recorder. Trigger object as well as the daffodils, which are just out at the minute, represent the spring and the sunshine. And that's another little EMF meter in front of that, so you'd, so you'd detect anything, the wee lights will light up. And I'm filming all that with my wee full spectrum camera. So I'll let that run for half an hour or so. I'll get a cup of coffee. Um, I'll tell you just before I go for coffee about the wee finds. It was excavated uh, in the 1940s. So I think it was the early 1940s. Uh, the cairn was excavated and they found a uh, flint arrowhead, um, some scrapers, flint scrapers and some various pots and pottery from Neolithic and Bronze Age. There's also some cremated bones found. Um, let me just refer you to megalithicmonumentsofireland.com Let's read this little paragraph. An entry in field notes of E. E. Evans dated 24th of December Christmas Eve, 1835, about the three urns found close by in the townland of Tamney Rankin. Three years ago, three urns of bones of black earth on a hill convenient to the house. The very first crock was found in 1832, the second in 1833, and the third in 1834. The crocks were very thick and curiously carved. The bones were large. One of the crocks had on it an inscription with three brass hoops. The bottom of the crocks were turned up. This is supposed to have been an old burial place locally known as Dunan. It's a fascinating field entry from long ago. Um, so, pretty rich site. I think the whole area is pretty rich in Neolithic and Bronze Age history, but um, we'll get into that another day. Slightly brighter weather as well to the south of us. Clouds came down over the mountain, practically hidden in the wind turbines now. Dead dry. <laughs> That's the main thing. Cairns actually aligned southeasterly. Um, could be a winter solstice sunrise alignment, possibly, but there's no evidence for it really as such. So it's been about 40 minutes now. I've been running my wee experiments, so I'm going to pack up and go home. I've got a good few hours at it in ahead of me to get this up in time for today, so. Thanks a lot for watching.
please stay safe the next time and I'll start our blessings to you all. Thanks for watching till the end. See you in the next one. Bye for now.